back to the vlog. It is dumb late right now, like 4 p.m. and I need to do my hair. I just, um, I just, I just didn't want to do it. Let me, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I detangled my hair last night. I washed my hair last night and slept overnight with my deep conditioner in. And up until, let's just say an hour ago, I still had deep conditioner in my hair. So I went ahead, jumped in the shower, rinsed it out, and I blow dried my hair. I'm still kind of like not in the mood, but real talk, I'm gonna be thankful for this. For one, I am going out of town next weekend. And for two, I just feel like I need to put my hair back up. I had it in braids for a while and then I took it down, but like in the time that I took it down and didn't put braids back in it, that was just a poor choice on my part because I haven't really been in the mood to take care of my hair. So when I start feeling like that, I know I need braids. So I went to the beauty supply store earlier. My bad y'all, my bag was in the hallway. I got three packs of hair. It is, girl, I don't, what is this? Expression, all of these things. There are so many names on here, I don't even know. But it's in the color 1B30. I actually don't even know how many packs I'm gonna need. I also bought me one of these little closed top weaving caps for afterwards when I put mousse on it. Got some new hair clips. I love these hair clips so much. They really, really work for me. So we re up on those. And what else is in here? Is that a receipt? No, what is this? Oh, it's the comb. Okay. And I also went ahead and bought a new comb. This is the comb that has that little precision piece right here. So I'm thinking maybe that'll help me part my hair. I don't know. You know, they come out with these new things and sometimes I feel like they're just gimmicky, but we gonna try it. And then I also picked up some Shine and Jam. I typically use the purple one, which I still have that here, yeah. Typically I use the purple one and it's regular hold. This one is extra hold. So this is number four, this is number six. I don't know which one I'm actually gonna end up using for the entirety of my head, but I figured I would try the extra hold out first and if I didn't like it or if it was like too sticky, drying too fast or whatever, I would just go back to what I know and use the purple one. But um, this is not gonna be a tutorial, y'all. I just feel like, you know, this is free content, okay? I have somewhere to go and I have several things that I wanna do before it's time to go. But the first part is getting my hair done. That is the thing that takes the absolute longest to get done. The style that I'm doing. So I'm thinking knotless braids, medium sized. I think the knotless braids that I did last time, they turned out, oops, fuzzy. I think the knotless braids that I did last time turned out really good, except for the fact that I think they were too large for me to wear them as long as I wanted to wear them. So this time I'm going to do my knotless braids a little bit smaller. And because I don't want to be here braiding all day, which full disclosure, I'm not going to finish this today, y'all. I'm going to start today. I hope I finish tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. But I am gonna do knotless singles in the back and then come up with something for the front. It's definitely gonna be cornrows, but I'm undecided on whether or not they're gonna be straight back cornrows to like here, or if I'm gonna try and figure out some swoop de loops to put in there. But <sighs> now that I've gotten all that out of the way, I need to part my hair so I can start braiding. Actually, I need to part my hair and then I need to start sectioning off some of this hair and put it on this little towel bar up here. So once I get started, I can do a couple of braids at a time without having to like resection the hair. So let's get into it. My chief complaint when it comes to doing my own hair is that I always take so long when it comes to parting. I'll use several different combs. I'll use multiple different mirrors. I will sit on my bathroom sink with the mirror in front of my face so I can make sure that my parts are correct. But it's because like, at least for me, when I'm doing my own hair, I don't really mind too much if the back looks homemade because that's to be expected. But my eyes are in the front of my head. So I just feel like at least the front should be looking like something. I also took this opportunity to grease my scalp. Something has really been going on with my hair as of late. It's just been giving extra dry. So I went ahead and I greased my scalp. I want to say this was the Carol's Daughter hair grease that I used. I had to decant it because the original jar broke. But since I knew that I wasn't going to get to the front of my hair that day, 
I figured, girl, slather on the grease, let some of that soak in overnight so that when you start braiding the next day, your grip will be decent. I kind of prefer to braid on drier hair, but in this instance, I just needed grease. Braid number one. <laughs> Lord, be with me. Okay. I'm not quite sure how long it took me to do that first braid, but I do, I enjoy the size of these. It feels like it's on pretty tight. So that was four pieces of hair. I think I should have just did three though. Okay, I'm gonna do another one. And I'm gonna just do it with three pieces and see how I like that. I mean, one of these is gonna get taken out and redone. So I might as well as see what's up, see what's up. I am of the belief that I can get away with just three pieces per braid because this braid is cute and the longest hair will be here, which is totally fine with me. And it's not even that much longer, but like it's kind of unnecessary because I think I'm just going to end up dipping the ends of these. I'm not going to put any curls or anything in it, so I don't need the extra length. Voila magic. So I'm just gonna undo this and take that extra piece out. Okay, I need to slow down. Here we go. Here it is. There is number four that can come out. And I can salvage this braid and just braid it all the way down. Won't he do it? Okay, well, I need to get my braid your hair starter pack together. First of all, I need to get some candy and put it in here. I also need to locate my iPad so I can turn on Call the Midwife because really and truly, I only need to be like straight up focused in the mirror when I'm partying. But once I get those three pieces of hair added, I can turn around and I could be watching something to pass my time. So I have no idea how long it's gonna take me to braid my hair. So I may be in here for a little while. I'm definitely not trying to finish today though, so I'm not pressed or anything. However, I would like to get the entire back half of my hair done if possible. And then in my dreams tonight, I can think about what I want to do for the front. But yeah, girl, I need to go get my things. So I will check in with y'all periodically <laughs> throughout this process just so y'all can see how it's going. But I am so glad I only need three pieces of hair for each braid because I'm feeling like I might even have an extra pack of hair left over. You know, I hate to be overconfident, but I feel like that is actually possible. All right, I'll check my child after a while. You already know, it's the next day. I braided for probably about two hours yesterday and then went to go eat and was like, that's gonna do it for me, folks. <laughs> so I need to finish this today. Um, this is what we're looking like. I got, I don't know, is this three rows? One, two, three. I got three rows done in the back in about two hours. This is one, 13 braids. So I feel like if I could do another 13 braids in two hours, I would be eternally grateful. But I actually think I'm gonna move a little bit faster this morning because I did do some pre-parting last night. Um, I got this row parted and this row parted and then the section up top. So I should be able to fly through it. The only thing I'm gonna to have to do is stop and re-section off some hair. I have enough, let me get my chair. I have enough out for seven braids at a time. So 
I don't know. I am gonna have to rebraid some of these down to the bottom before they get dipped because they just didn't stay. And I was trying to braid them in a way that they would stay so I didn't have to rebraid them, but whatever. I have all of my things ready to go. Nothing to it but to do it. So I will see y'all after a while. Again, me with the parting. I will say that pre-parting those sections horizontally definitely does help. So that might be something I need to keep in my back pocket and do from here on out to save me a little time. Um, but I was really just trying to make sure that the parts back there, the boxes were actually boxes and they didn't turn into uneven triangles. And then I was using the shine and jam more so towards the ends of my hair just to make sure it got blended in. I'm in desperate need of a break. <laughs> I've been in the bathroom, I think for three hours now and the back is all done. I did already start um, kind of like pre-parting my first one because y'all, I messed up my boxes in the back. I think I messed up like way down here somewhere, but like this should not be looking like this. So what I decided to do was fix it is I'm gonna put a braid right here down the middle. So that braid will fall like right here in this region. So then I won't have to worry about it. But I went ahead and pre-parted that one. So I didn't forget that that was my plan. But I'm gonna take a little bit of siesta, uh, get some food, girl, rest my feet, and then I'll be back. And hopefully when I come back, we can finish this. I really need to decide on how many braids I'm gonna put in the front. I'm thinking somewhere around 11, like let this be the anchor and then do five on each side. We'll see, I don't know. But anyways, I need a break, so I'll be back. Y'all, I don't even really wanna talk about this part because it took me so long to put this design in the front half of my head. I didn't really know what I was gonna do until I started parting. And then once I had the thought in my head, I just refused to give up. It got to the point where I was getting frustrated. I was getting hot. I felt like I started sweating and everything, but I was trying to create two like half C's on either side of my head and the parting just would not work out. I had done it several times, especially on the right side of my head. It just was not cooperating. And even using that newer comb with the precision tip, that didn't really help as much as I thought it would. I'm sure it works better if you probably have thicker hair. And by thicker hair, I mean density, but eventually it all worked out, eventually. Do I think I'm too good for straight back braids? Girl, like what in Sam's tarnation are you actually trying to prove here? I just didn't want regular braids, bruh. I actually ended up having several of those heart-to-heart -heart conversations with myself standing in the mirror. Um, but like I said, it ended up working out. My arms were so tired doing this, like even braiding with my own hair. My arms were just over it. But then I got to braiding the middle braid and I did want to go ahead and add in some of the hair so I could have that color in the front half. But y'all, listen, adding feed in hair to cornrows, highly underestimated, highly underestimated. I had to make the sections of the add in hair so small. So it's not like I could just add in three pieces and then just keep it going. I ended up having to, I don't know, I think maybe I ended up adding in hair like six different times. And then there was actually a part where I ended up grabbing too much hair for a section. So I'm holding hair in my mouth, just doing all sorts of crazy things in order to try and make this work out. And then this happened. <laughs> whatever made it we're just gonna keep that and we are going to are we though are we just gonna keep going yeah we are i think it's just fair to say like by the time i got to like halfway down that middle braid i was just like whatever happens is gonna happen and then i was kind of second guessing myself on whether or not i needed to add in more hair because i couldn't tell how long the braid was but that was a leap of faith a hundred percent so I kept on parting and then I was working on this specific section right here and I got probably 50% through the length of that braid and was just like, you know what? I've been braiding crooked this entire time and 
there was a part of me i'm not even gonna lie a part of me that wanted to leave it and be like listen this is just gonna be the l that i take today but of course knowing myself i went ahead and i snatched that braid out and i figured out that the key for me to braiding straight is that i literally have to turn my neck so hard to one side where it basically looks like it's broken and then braid because my hands tend to travel towards one side or the other and when you're trying to do straight cornrows your hands can't be traveling like that so it's really annoying that i ended up having to take out a braid and actually i think i ended up having to take out a couple of braids during this process but this specifically was annoying because y'all i was just ready to be done you know i was just getting to that point where i was just tired my arms were hurting and i was over it 100% I would say doing feed in singles is easier than doing feed in cornrows because with the cornrows I ended up having to add so many tiny pieces of hair to the front in order to make the braid look cohesive versus like just adding a big section at the beginning but with a feed in like single braid I ended up only just adding three pieces of hair so it saved me a ton of time and a ton of work and also a ton of frustration. I'm done. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I think this was roughly about eight hours of braiding. I don't know how many braids are in here, but I'll count them and put them on the screen. However, we have a little bit of an issue. I am not crazy about this little swoop-de-loop thing I tried to do in the front. I think it looks weird. I think there's too much space between like the middle braid and these two braids right here. I think what I should have done maybe was like do a middle braid here, then take the hair on the other sides and connect them to this. But this is exactly why this was not a tutorial because when I braid my hair, sometimes I just be doing things, okay? And sometimes those things don't work out, but there's a solution because I'm gonna be honest, I'm not rebraiding this, not today and not this week. So I'm gonna wear it in a bun at the top. Let's see. I'm gonna make it neater for the final, you know, look or whatever. But if I put it in a bun at the top with the hair out, that's a vibe, you know what I mean? Because the bun is gonna be quafted, okay? Something similar to like this, I could do this. But maybe in like, I am trying to get like four or five weeks out of this. So maybe in like another week and a half, two weeks, I might decide to do something up here in the front. It also depends on how this grows out, right? Because if the front ends up looking crazy after two weeks, I'm gonna wanna snatch the front out and redo it anyway, but yeah, y'all, that is it. So let me go dip my ends. It's cute though, and I'm super proud of myself. I, I really, really am proud of myself. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Put it on your head, girl. I do not think this is the right thing, but we all, this is giving Beyonce. Ooh, it's caught on my earring. No, 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 no. That was entirely too ghetto for me. Okay. Maybe don't pull it down so, well. Okay, look, I did not come back on last night after I finished my hair, but this is what it's looking like. This is going to be, this is the hair. I think it's serving. I mean, oh girl, wipe the powder off. I am tripping. I am rushing because I'm supposed to be ready to go in like three minutes. So I really don't have time to sit here and talk, but I just wanted to come back on and show y'all what the finished result looks like. I do think it definitely looks better now that it's in a bun because of that, like this whole parting situation. I don't know what I was thinking, but honestly, I ain't worn no like top knot like this in a very long time. So I am satisfied, you guys. These braids turned out super cute and I'm so glad I was able to salvage this hairstyle because sometimes when you're braiding your own hair, you gotta be ready to roll with the punches, but I am super glad that this ended up working out. I have just recently started rebraiding my own hair. So girl, um, by Christmas, I'm be doing some things, okay? Up close if you want to see. All 
All right, y'all, gotta go. I just sat down to do some computer work, not realizing that I actually could be having laundry going at the same time. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I, this is another day of me getting ready to go out of town, but I already separated my laundry last night. I just need to run it and really, it's only gonna be, hold on a sec, are we here? Okay, it's really just gonna be two loads of laundry. I need to do like towels and then my gym clothes because when I get back in town, I'm gonna need my gym clothes ready to go because that is the first thing I'm gonna try and talk myself out of doing. So I'm gonna get this stuff thrown in here. And then I think I could also take out the trash. You know what, I actually need to go ahead and throw this sweatshirt in there, so. Let me tell you how I am literally just trying to address as many of these things as possible. I'm only going out of town for the weekend, but I just feel like when you're gone for a weekend, the stuff that you normally would do on the weekend just gets lost. And I am really trying to prevent that. So I scheduled a grocery pickup for today to um, go with the stuff that I had meal planned for this upcoming week. This morning, I stopped to buy sprouts and picked up produce. So this is just a center aisle stuff, but I forgot to add pumpkin puree and yogurt to the list. So after they put my groceries in, I'm gonna have to run inside Kroger to get those two things, but. Hello. Yes. Do you have any paper coupons today? I do not. And do you want this to go in the trunk or the back seat? Um, you can put it on the back seat, that'd be great. Do you have the eggs? Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. Uh -huh. you Thanks, you too. That wasn't awkward at all. <laughs> but what I was saying was that I forgot to put pumpkin puree and yogurt on the grocery list for the order pickup. And last time I put pumpkin puree on there, they only had like the 20 something ounce cans. And I really just don't need that much pumpkin. So I'm going to run in here real quick, get that stuff, and then head back home because um, I still have other things I need to do. I was on the fence about showing y'all what I picked up from the grocery store because it's not like a large haul. This is basically just fill in the holes to get through next week and possibly some of the week after. But Kroger is so goofy. Let me show y'all what they did. So this pretty much looks like a regular weekly fill in the holes kind of shopping trip, right? But can somebody tell me what happened to Kroger authorizing substitutions? Like this is 96 ounces of almond milk. Not once but twice and then they also decided to give me store brand soy sauce now i have nothing against store brand things but i want to try those on my own time because what if i don't like this you know what i mean what if it's not good they definitely did not send me any kind of message asking me to approve anything so i'm just i'm confusion Next on the agenda, I need to wax y'all. I need to do this upper lip. I need to do these underarms because y'all gonna see them in a minute, but they need some attention, okay? Before I get into it, I'm gonna show you the stuff that I use. For underarms and upper lip, I use this. It's Parisa Hot Wax. It's one of those waxes that uh, how do I explain it? You don't need a strip to pull it off. It just dries and you rip it off. And then for the bikini situation, I use the Sally Hansen All Over Body Wax. And then the oil that I use, I just use the oils that come with all the products. So 
This comes with the Sally Hansen one. And these two came with the, oh, the writing is all off of this, but I know that this these two came from the Parisa wax kit. This is what the wax looks like. Please don't drip, please don't drip. You have to heat it up on the stove and it comes in like a measuring cup, which I don't know about y'all, that's pretty handy. And it does come with some sticks that I'm struggling to find. You know what, did I use my last? Oh, I did not, okay. The last stick I have in here is a popsicle stick. Now, typically they come with like the thick ones, but I've used those and I forgot to get more sticks. So I'm gonna have to make this little stick work for today. So I'm just gonna start with my upper lip because even though I've been waxing for a long time by myself, I still feel like I gotta like hype myself up to do it. And the top lip is like the easiest thing for me to do to kind of get me going. And then I'll go for my underarms and then I'll do my bikini area. This little popsicle stick is putting the tiniest amount in here. Lord, I hope this don't take forever. Okay, I do my lip in like three passes. I'll do one side, the other side, and then the middle, like this section right here. But you just fan it until it's not, see, it's not sticking to anything anymore. Just, Rip it off, woo! Okay, this is gonna be so gross, but like, there we go. Can you see the little hairs? It gets the bulb in everything. Which is why I really enjoy this wax because it's not like I have to go over a section multiple times. Like, it's got a nice little grip game on here. Okay, well that was one side, now I need to do the other one. One, two, gotta commit, you just gotta commit. Y'all see that? And one, two. Oof. Magic. Okay, now that my upper lip is done, I'm just going to take some of this oil. I'm just gonna swipe. Now I need to rewarm this because as it sits, it gets super thick and I need it to be thinner for my underarm. Okay, this is what my underarms look like. Don't judge me. This is actually almost like a month after the last time I waxed. I try to do like every three weeks. Well, at least this year, girl. I've been trying to do like every three weeks because when you are consistent, you do see better results. But when I go somewhere, I just want my wax to be fresh. So then I do my armpit in sections because I am not a professional. And I'll go down here first. And the way that this wax works is that you'll need like a little lip of some kind. So you can pull the wax up. Okay, that's good. And again, I'm going to flick it up from the bottom. So I have my little, I have a little tab here that I can pull on and count to three and let it rip. One, two, three, and okay, I'm gonna show y'all. This don't make, okay, wait. This don't make no sense, oh my gosh. But, I mean, I know this is gross, but if you can see like the little white pieces at the bottom, it's pulling it at the root. So this wax is not breaking any hairs. And that's one of the things about waxing that sucks or like any hair removal process like you want it to be pulling the hair from the root you don't want it to be breaking the hair like what is the point it's going to grow back faster and you're not going to be damaging the follicle you know what i mean so i'm just going to do it again one two three let her rip that is it, that is the waxed pit. Inevitably, there's always gonna be some kind of hair that does not get pulled out. Usually it's like the little tiny baby hairs that haven't grown a full length yet. And I just go in and pull them out. And because the wax has already kind of had like a first dab at it, this does not hurt at all. And there you have it, that is one armpit. So I'm gonna do the other one off camera and I'm also gonna do my bikini situation off camera because that ain't none of your business. And then after that, I'll be back because I still need to 
finished picking out my outfits. I need to pack my bag and I wanted to do a little bit of cleaning before I considered myself ready to go. So I'll see y'all in just a minute. I finally have all of my outfits situated and some because I always need options. But now I need to try and shove all of these clothes into this bag. This is the base weekender bag. And for summertime, this bag definitely works because the clothes are a little bit thinner. For the winter time, things get a little dicey, but I'm just gonna put my shoes down here and pack this bag as best as I can. I think all this stuff is gonna be able to fit. I may end up with one like shoulder bag because my toiletries and my makeup stuff needs to go somewhere and I don't think there's going to be enough room in here. I know this seems like a lot for just a weekend trip, but like when the trips involve activities, I am one of those people who just needs to be prepared. I, oh my gosh, my anxiety flares up so much if I'm somewhere and I don't have everything that I need. So I am an overpacker, but only to the extent that I am fully prepared. <laughs> so. My toiletry stuff is actually already in the bathroom. I went ahead and packed it, but when I get ready tonight, I'm gonna get ready out of my toiletry bag so I can make sure that I have everything that I need for like my night routine and my morning routine. I also, what else do I need to do? I think I'm going to clean now. I do have towels that I need to swap over. That is one thing that I haven't packed yet is my face towels. I need to pack those in my bag, but I need to go ahead and put those in the dryer so that I can pack them. And then find like a little shoulder bag or something for my small toilet, well, kind of like medium sized toiletry bag and my makeup. And then anything that I bring on the road with me. So like my iPad, my tripod, stuff like that. Yeah, I think that's gonna do it. Man, glad to have that done. Hey, turn off lights. I don't know about y'all, but like growing up when we would go on like family trips or whatever, my parents used to make us clean up before we left. And as a kid, I thought it was just so annoying. But in my adult life, I am so thankful that they instilled that in us because there is nothing, nothing like when you come back from going anywhere and your house is clean. And luckily enough for me, it wasn't even a bad week. Like there are some times where my apartment is like a complete disaster, but by the grace because this particular week it was a good week and i didn't really have that many things to do really it was just tidying up versus like a full-on deep clean and congratulations to this sticky note i honestly don't even know where i picked it up from but it was hanging on for absolute dear life and to be completely honest i don't even know when it fell off <laughs> all of the things today the only things that i need to do to finish winding down my night is i do want to fold those um towels and colored clothes that are in that basket i need to take a shower and shave and stuff like that and i was going to do my nails but you guys they are so incredibly wrecked i don't even know if the camera is picking this up they have just been cracking all week. This one just wants to split in a million places. So I'm at the point now where I'm just like, a gel manicure is not gonna do me any good. Heck, regular nail polish is not gonna do me any good. So I think all I'm gonna end up doing is just cutting them down to make them even and maybe pushing back my cuticles because man, this is where I'm gonna leave you guys. I am ready to go. I am so glad I took today off because I was able to kind of like get my stuff together at my own pace versus just rushing all over the place like a crazy person. But yeah, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.